Did you know how Australians see the moon? Or is the sun getting bigger or is the earth disappearing? Today, knowledge and information have become one of the most important components of our lives. From scientific discoveries to the information we have, we all live our lives trying to understand more. The more we know, the better and more productive we are likely to be. During these decades, humans have encountered great discoveries that cannot all be explained in a few minutes. Hello, my name is Abbas and welcome to the Black Mastery Box channel. I try to make the best video and the highest quality video with the good family of Black Mastery Box. So, if you are not a member of our family, I suggest that you become a member so that I can increase your general information from 0 to 100. Of course, you are 100, but I still want you to be much better. Australians see the moon upside down. In many published images, the moon is the same as seen from the northern hemisphere of the Earth. Since Australia is located in the southern hemisphere of the Earth, there the moon is seen opposite to what we are used to seeing. Ice cream was a child's invention. Frank Epperson, an 11-year-old boy from San Francisco, USA, invented this popular summer food by accident one day in 1905. By chance, he left a bowl of water and sugary soda with a piece of wood inside for stirring on the porch of their house overnight until morning. The cold weather caused the contents of the bowl to freeze and this incident created the idea of producing ice cream in Epperson's mind. In the past, soccer balls were used as basketball balls in the playground. The sport of basketball was invented in 1891 by Dr. James Nysmith, but it took three years for this sport to have its own ball. Basketball players initially used soccer balls, the basketball basket was not a net and a hoop like now, but a wooden bucket with an open bottom. Dark chocolate can prevent tooth decay. Research has shown that consuming dark chocolate helps prevent the formation of dental plaques and tooth decay. This food item is also a source of polyphenols, chemicals that fight oral bacteria. Drowning is not what we imagine. Immersion in reality is different from what we have seen in movies. When a person is drowning, he or she is rarely able to scream, has no strength to move his or her arms around, and usually floats for a short time on the surface of the water, gasping for breath before going down. Jacob's sheep can have up to six horns. Jacob sheep have dark spots on their body. The average weight of males is 72 kilograms and the weight of females is 45 kilograms on average. These sheep have at least two horns and at most six horns, which is their most prominent feature. The speed of rotation of the earth is decreasing. The speed of the Earth's rotation has decreased by nearly six hours over the past 2,740 years. This amount may seem significant, but it is equivalent to adding 1.78 milliseconds to a 24-hour day over 100 years. A can of diet soda floats on water and a can of sugary soda sinks in it. Due to the difference between their densities, diet soda can stay on top of the water and regular soda will sink. The full moon may affect your sleep. According to a study, the full moon may have special effects on the sleep patterns of women and men. This research showed that during the full moon phase, women often had less sleep and experienced less REM sleep. However, men had more REM sleep during this period, 
REM is the stage of sleep associated with dreaming and memory consolidation. Leonardo da Vinci wrote the first resume in history. Leonardo da Vinci wrote a letter to the Duke of Milan when he was looking for a job as a military engineer. In this letter, he emphasized his admirable designs for siege tools, such as terrifying catapults. In this letter, he also gave explanations about his artistic skills. For example, he wrote somewhere, I can make anything possible in painting. The sun can become 300 times bigger. According to research, the sun may be 300 times larger than its current size at the end of its life. The sun, being a star, produces light and heat with volcanoes of hydrogen constantly forming and exploding in its core. The end of the sun's life actually refers to the time when the hydrogen fuel in the sun's core runs out and this will lead to changes in the star that will eventually lead to the end of the sun's life. After running out of hydrogen fuel, the sun reaches a state known as practically unstable, where its core becomes hotter and creates more pressure. This pressure allows the star to engage in further chains of nuclear fallout using other fuels such as helium and carbon. These developments eventually lead to the explosion of the star, an event known as a supersolar. This explosion involves the combination of a kind of gas with light and heat, which leads to deceiving the gravitational force of the star and its explosion, and the rest of the star remains in the form of a white dwarf, a small star and colder than the sun, or a neutron star, a very compact and cold star stays the end of the sun's life will occur approximately in about 5 billion years. I hope you like this article, so if you have any questions, criticisms or suggestions, write to me below the comments, I will answer 100%, and if you like this style of video, I will definitely suggest you to become a member of the channel.